Hey guys, welcome to your reading. So we're going to take a look and find out what the person on your mind finds most attractive about you. So keep in mind it's going to be a general read, so if you pick a pile and it's not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile, or you can check out all three piles, or it just may not be your message today, and that's okay because these are general. All right, I'll have time stamps below and we will dive in with pile one. Hi, pile one, welcome to your reading. Okay, let's take a look and find out what your person finds most attractive about you here. So keep in mind, it's going to be a general read. So if the first few cards are coming out and not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, let's see pile one. Oh, goodness. Okay, pile one. <laughs> we got the Ace of Wands for the first card out. So clearly you guys are hot, like super hot here. And this person definitely wants to, you know, if you haven't, they want to. If you have, they think about it all the time. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> the Five of Wands. Oh, this person feels in the Hierophant. So they feel like you're very hot and people want you here. So with the five of wands, that is like, mm, they, they just want it to be with you. So they're very, they're kind of attracted to the fact that other people are attracted to you. We have the Hierophant at the center though. So this implies that they feel like there's more depth here to you than just your hotness. Okay. It's like, you've got uh, the spiritual thing going on. Um, and I think that they feel like your aura tends to draw a lot of people in. Okay. And you probably do have a lot of suitors here. So on one hand, I think this person does get a little jealous, but at the same time, they're also very attracted to the fact that you're wanted here, pile one. <laughs> All right. The Hierophant. Temperance. Yeah. It's like you guys are very patient, so they do love that. And, and again, there's just this like healing energy about you. For some of them, it's like the sexual healing. Okay. <laughs> just um, Let's keep going. What's wrong with the Five of Wands here? Okay, it's the King of Wands. So some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, but this is uh, this is somebody here who again likes to beat the competition, and you're you're a challenge here for them, Pile One. They like that. I don't know. Turns them on even more. <laughs> what can I say? This person, whoever this is, is highly attracted to you, not only for your physical appearance, but your your mind here, your heart, all that with the Hierophant. So, all right, let's keep going. What's wrong with this Ace of Wands? Ace of Cups, pile of one. This person's like not only in love, they're not only like obsessed over you physically, but this is like transformative stuff here for this King of Wands. So I mean, uh, they find everything, everything attractive about you. Your energy, the, uh, the feeling that they get when they're around you, and your body. Okay. All right, let's clarify. What's the Ace of Wands? Why is it here? The Nine of Wands. Okay, for a lot of you, you know, maybe you haven't been uh, intimate with this person. And I'll tell you, it's very hard. If that's the case for you, Pile One, very hard for them to hold back, especially when they think that there are other people after you. So if this is somebody who has not came forward yet or made more of a advancement here into a commitment, mm, they're thinking about it clearly. And I think that may be why we see the Hierophant there, okay? They know you're hot. And I mean, look, if this person hasn't taken their shot or they've just been slow to move, it's like, you know, there's a fire lit now. <laughs> well, let's see the five of wands. Okay, strength card. Hmm. Well, you make this person want to boss up here and again, beat out the competition. I, it's kind of what I'm getting. It's like this person would fight for you if they had to. I mean, physically, you know, it's, it's that. It's like they... Um, they've had these feelings for you for a while here. So, I mean, very attracted. And again, that strength card is more of that Leo lusty energy. I'm just, you know, we got the nine of wands. I mean, this person's like, I'm not going to say feeding, but they kind of are here, pile one. Goodness, what'd you do to this person? <laughs> Jeez. It's a higher fit here. Golly. The king of swords. You've got this person like thinking about their own spirituality now with you. Like, this is uh you make them think, and they like that. They, For some of you, you're very mysterious, and this person can't figure out that, that magnetic pull that you have on them. But you do, and so they're over here just like, what is this? Who is this person? They're, they're like magical. Okay. It's like King of Swords. It's like some of them, and I'm, and I'm just here, and it's like they want to be intimate with you and do all that, but then they think like, oh, my gosh, but, but Pile 1 is just this amazing thing. Like, I don't want to, you know... Oh my goodness, I don't know why. King of Swords, let's see. The Seven of Swords. Mm. And the Lovers. Chariot. Okay, this person wants you bad here. 
pile one, and I'm just getting for a lot of you. You've not been intimate with this person. Or if you have, um, again, they're trying, they're sitting over here just, they don't want you to have anybody else, okay? Uh, they want to move towards this. They want that Ace of Wands or the, you know, whatever that applies to you. The Knight of Wands and the, and the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. This person has tried to distract themselves from how badly it is that they want you here, Pile One, and it's getting harder and harder. You know, the facade is like it's not it's not gonna stay up, especially if they think you have other options here. Okay. Alright, King of Wands, what's going on? The two of wands. Yeah. This is like this person's done a lot of planning, okay? They've done a lot of planning about how this is gonna work. For some of you I did hear that you may be connected. Okay. Um and if that's the case and it's, you know, this person wants you and it doesn't even matter, right? So that could be talking about the competition if you're not out there dating or you've got other suitors here, okay? So just for some. Uh, yeah, it's the two of wands. It's like this person just wants to seal the deal here. <laughs> Pile one. All right, let's see the Ace of Cups. The moon. Look at this. Um... So I will say they find this attractive. It's, it's very mysterious here. Again, it's more like adding to the mystery. This person just wants to, to get to the depths of you. They want to figure you out from the inside out here. Okay. They don't know why they've got all these feelings. They can't explain it. They feel like, you know, are they the only ones here that are this drawn to you? Or do you pull in everybody like this? It's been a while. I'm going to say whoever this is, it feels like I don't think that they told you this here. You know, for a lot of you. I mean, we see the moon under the Ace of Cups. It's like you make them real nervous. <laughs> um, oh, I'm getting that Marin Morris song, Nervous. You guys might want to go look that up because this is kind of that feeling here, okay? And they like it. You know, they like it. But it's almost intimidating here for this person. Like, a lot of you are just, like, on fire right now, too. So you may be in this glow up, and it's just like you may have options coming at you left and right. It's like this person likes it, but at the same time, it makes them... It makes them get into their feels a little bit here. <laughs> you know? Well, okay. Let's see the moon. Yeah, it's the hangman and the eight of, eight of wands. Yeah, this person hasn't really told you the depths of the feelings. I mean, you might know that they have a wand for you here, but um, this, is, this is them debating on whether or not to tell you. And I think for some of you, again, uh, they see how hot you are. And they know that people want you and they're drawn to you. So if they don't make a move here soon, you're going to get scooped up here, Pile One. I mean, for some of you out here, this is what this person's kind of thinking. The Nine of Wands and the Two of Swords. Mm. Yeah, you may work with this person too. It's the Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's like they've admired, they, they've wanted to tell you this for a while. You, you've probably known this person for a little bit here. Okay, and they've, they've definitely been attracted to you the whole time. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Again, for some of you, you or this person could be connected, and that's why they've just kept themselves behind this little fence here with their own wand and, you know, maybe have given you the page. I don't know. They find you very just... You've done something to this person here, and they can't quite put their finger on it, okay? But they'll put their hand on it here because it's the Page of Wands at the bottom. So I'm just, you know, uh, this person's wanted you for a while. They're just highly attracted to you. Everything, everything about you, Pile One. So I don't know what you're doing, but keep it up. Let's see that Five of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. They don't want anybody else to give to you. They want to be able to give to you in all kinds of ways here. Um... They just feel like you've got a lot of people knocking at your door is what I'm getting. And again, for whoever this is, intimidated a little bit, but highly attracted to the fact that you were wanted here, Pile 1. So if you're resonating with this pile, then you probably get it, right? Oh, the High Priestess and the Hierophant, though, at the bottom. Um, so this is the problem for this person is that maybe they thought originally it was just going to be surface level here with you that you were just a pretty face or you know whatever uh you're way more than that though so there's a little bit of that where they're like this is pile one special from the inside out is what i keep hearing and uh they're nervous about who you're given to you know they're trying to keep a good front up here with the strength card like i'm not not bothered by this um it's mixed emotions here for them though because you know if they don't make their move you may be just <laughs> 
giving this energy to somebody else here soon. Four of Wands in the string. Again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say, too, for some of you, if you're dealing with somebody who was not looking for a commitment here, um, you're attracted what they're attracted to about you, but scared of at the same time is that you make them want this. Okay, nobody else has. So, and again, you got the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Cups here, Hierophant at the center. Whoever this is, they've not met anybody like you here. It's why they're so attracted to you. You make them do things that they don't normally want to do. For <laughs> some of them, commit, right? Um, all right, well, let's see if that. Um, let's see that Ace of Wands. The Three of Pentacles, again, you guys could work with this person, but the, the undertone of this is that they actually want to come together with you, not just with the Ace of Wands. There's, there's the feelings, too. Um, if you guys do work with this person, they could feel like that's where the competition is. Like, a lot of people at work want you. I don't know why I'm getting that for somebody. Five of Cups and the King of Swords, this person, again, they're disappointed in themselves because they see how hot you are and they know how attracted they are to you, but for a lot of you, they just haven't made a move. Okay. Oh, all right. Why is the strength here? Ace of Swords and the Fool. It, it, the Four Cups. This person does feel, and I'm going to tell you, because you're so hot and because you're so special here, Pile Pile One. It's like yeah, you, you make them nervous. You give them the jitters in the best kind of way. They want to. They want to. They want to say something here. They want to shoot their shot. For some of you who have not had confirmation from this person, but they are scared of rejection. You know. It's just kind of that because whether they portray it or not in the 3D, this person, when it comes to you, you make them weak and they do feel like you have options here. They're, they're trying not to show it, but I think they're getting nervous. And again, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, judgment in the Two of Pentacles. Again, this is what I'm saying. Whoever this is believes that you have options and yeah, this may be pushing them to do something here because whoever this is, is highly attracted to you, but there's a lot more emotions there that meets the eye too so it, it's coming from the whole thing here with you pile one two of wands oh sorry it flipped and then it went into the deck it's the king of wands okay well it's a repeating message here and then tell us about this king of wands here The Ten of Wands, it's getting harder and harder to sit here and not make a move and then to think about all these other options that you may have uh, because they've been sitting over here fantasizing, wanting to tell you, wanting, you know, wanting you. <laughs> this person's just uh, Ten of Cups at the bottom and the Queen of Wands. They think that you're the whole thing. You're the whole kit and caboodle here. Pile one, you are their match. You guys would be a great sexual match. I mean, if you've already been with this person, then you probably already know that here. Uh, you're like complete wish fulfillment is all I can say. This person knows it. They know that you've got options. They find that very hot and uh, very intimidating at the same time here. But when, I don't know. You got this person all in the feels, all up in their wands, all up in the stuff here. By one, so again, I don't know what you're doing, but I will say this person's highly attracted to you. And uh, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Clearly it's, uh, <laughs> this person likes it, so... <laughs> All right, Power One, pretty specific message here. I'm going to leave it here today, guys. Love to hear if this resonated with you below. And if you guys enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I will talk soon. Bye, Power One. Hi, Power Two. Welcome to your reading. So let's take a look and find out what it is that your person finds most attractive about you, okay? So keep in mind, going to be general. So if the first few cards are coming out, they're not resonating with you, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, Power Two, what are they finding very attractive about you right now? Queen of Cups, all right. The Empress, goodness. The Ten of Cups, okay, well, look. Wow, too. This person's like submitting here. They're head over heels. This is everything. They're, they're attracted to everything about you here. Ten of Cups at the center. I mean, complete wish fulfillment with the Empress and the Queen of Cups, which is the most love you can pull. I don't know. I mean, you made this person fall in love, so I would just say, again, they're like attracted to every inch of you, to, to everything about you here. Mm. Ten of Cups, goodness. You do this person pile too. <laughs> Ten of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. Like, you're like everything. You're like literally everything all in one package here that this person could ever want. They admire, they find you, the fact that you are probably smoking hot, first of all. I mean, very attracted to that. Um, they also are very attracted to the fact that you're grounded. 
You know, the Ten of Cups can be fantasy, but you're not fantasy here. You're real. <laughs> you're real with this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, and they know this. Um, so even more attracted there to that. And the fact that you probably very intuitive. So a lot of you could be impasse healers, intuitives here with the Queen of Cups. Okay, Pisces energy for some, I think. Cancer as well. Um, and we have Taurus with the, the Empress. Um, yeah, they're just... It, the way that you love is is unlike anybody else. I don't know. It's just your whole energy here, pile pile two, that they are attracted to. Mm, bottom of the deck, by the way, for that Queen of Pentacles is the Emperor. They also are attracted to the fact that you make them want to be the best version of themselves as well to match you. You push this person, okay? You've changed this person. They're, I mean, I'm just saying, they feel like you're a match, you're a counterpart. This is and it's the hermit behind that you've changed this person from the inside out and they are highly attracted to this whatever you've done here about to oh okay well what's right with the empress here the wheel they feel like you're you're destined you are fated they know that you are i don't know for a lot of you you're just like something that this person's never encountered before they're just attracted to the whole the whole essence of you is what I'm getting. Mm. What's wrong with the Queen of Cups? <laughs> the Ace of Wands pile too. Look at these cards. I mean, who is this for you? You guys will definitely have to let me know because they, again, they're attracted to body, mind, and soul here. All of it. All of the above. Pile two. I mean, I could, you know, we could elaborate more on these cards, but I think you see that Ace of Wands with the Queen of Cups. It's like, ah, uh, this is like, life-changing stuff okay no wonder they're so attracted to you i'm gonna say i thought pile one got a great got a great read here but yours is just like pff, through the roof already so okay well attracted to you in every way so far pile two <laughs> let's let's keep going why is the queen of cups here seven of pentacles um yeah for a lot of you could have known this person for a while and they see that you are consistent you're consistent you're genuine with who you are you don't change this is it you you i don't know for a lot of you you have given this person unconditional love for quite a while now and i will say that is highly attracted to them they feel like you are somebody that they can invest in and they will reap all kinds of rewards from just being connected to you here so super attractive hmm all right, what's the Empress? Nine of Wands. They've felt this for you for a while. Um, also, I feel like they're just attracted to your fighter spirit here. I think a lot of you may have been through a lot of shit here to get to where you are today. So it didn't just get handed to you. I think they love the fact that you are strong, you're capable, you're independent. But not only that, it's like you are the perfect partner here of who this person would consider to be the perfect partner. It's you. So... Um, I think also, again, they've seen you with, withstand a lot of things. You don't, you know, you don't bend your rules to fit somebody else. And I think they love this about you. It's like you're not going to stop fighting for what it is that you want. I don't know. Again, you inspire this person here. <laughs> All right, Ten of Cups. The Hierophant, again. This is just all of it. Mind, body, soul here for this person is what they're attracted to with you. There's a spiritual element to this, to you, that they can't explain. They can't put their finger on it, but they feel it, and they feel this pull. And it's the whole thing here, pile two. I mean, if you're resonating, this person is just, they're done. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, what is the hierophant here? The wheel. I, you know, it's what I was saying. And the empress. I'm done. Done, pile two. Six of Cups. They feel like this past life connection with you. They feel it all. This person. I don't know how. Are, I mean, some of you may be with this person. <laughs> I would tell you. They ain't letting you go if you're already with them. And if this is somebody that you're not with, they're not letting you go. It's still. I mean, it may have been a while. This person. You've, you're the only one that they see. So I'm just saying if you're resonating here. Um, they're fixated here on this. Okay. You've done something here. They feel something here with you that they have literally never felt with anybody else and uh wildly attracted here to you pile two all right what's the wheel Dude, the ten of pinnacles all right okay yeah this person wants it all with you you make them want it all you make them want to that's why we saw them as the emperor they are working right now because you're the driving force here to do it they're they're they're, they're taking cues from you here, okay? They see that you don't give up, and this person is definitely not going to give up. In fact, you've made this person groan. 
you know, grow here in whatever way this is, however long you've known them. This person has changed, and it could be a short amount of time, a long amount of time. No, they find this very attractive about you. A lot of you, too, are good on your own. So, again, I'm getting that independent vibe. You probably already have your Ten of Pentacles, right? Um, at least Nine of Pentacles, I'm saying that. But I just this person feels like you are a solid bet. So attractive here, pile two. Your energy is just amazing. So, it's the Ace of Wands. The Emperor, he's back. Look at that. We have we have a match out. This person feels you on every level. That's what I'm saying. This person wants you. They don't want anybody else. And they're they're highly attracted to you in every way. Pile two. I mean, we could clarify some of these. And we will. But I'm just saying. I, it's a straightforward message here for this pile. <laughs> as to why this person is attracted to you. It, it's everything about you. See that Nine of Wands. <clears throat> the Moon and Justice. Mm. There's a lot that you guys, what they're attracted to about you is that they know that you guys have been through a lot here, but you don't let that affect you, okay? You don't, you, you've balanced. You've balanced the past hurts here. You've used that, right, to grow into this empress here. This person is is learning from you. It's like just instant, instant <laughs> when they see you. I don't know. I mean, look, the ace of wands and the emperor, I'm just, as soon as this person just sees you or they're around you, beep. Or vice versa if it's female. Okay, you know what? Drip, drip. Queen of Wands at the bottom. And the Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. You guys are all the queens embodied into one. We've seen all of them except for the Queen of Swords. So look, I mean, <laughs> I'll be honest. This, this is probably a good sign here because this person just, you're the bee's knees here, piles too. I, I, I don't know. They admire everything about you. Okay. Well then. Let's do that Ace of Wands. What's, what's going on here? The Page of Swords. Yeah, if you have not been with this person intimately, you know, clearly they're just, it's its all the time here. Okay, and even if you have, it's all the time. You're, you're just, you're on this person's mind nonstop. Oh, goodness. Yeah. All right. The Emperor, why not? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ace of Cups. Six of Cups. This person just... You're it. I, I mean, I, we don't even need to clarify any more of these pile two because this person's just... They know what they want here with you. You make them want it all. It's love. It's passion. It's the Pentacles. It's all that. They feel like you guys are a power couple together. Okay? And uh, they're fixated pile two. So if you know who this is, I'm just saying attracted to you in every way I, I mean it's just it's a done deal for whoever this is so separation if you're together with this person it you know you're it so if there's an obstacle i i don't this person doesn't see that stopping them <laughs> yeah there's they don't have eyes for anybody else file too so i'm just saying it's you're you're everything okay check all the boxes for this person and uh yeah, I think they've got big plans here, pile two. All right, my loves. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Pretty specific message. Love to hear if this resonated with anybody out there. And if you guys enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, pile two. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. So we're going to take a look and find out what the person on your mind finds most attractive about you. So keep in mind, going to be a general read. So if the cards are coming out, they're not resonating. Feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, let's see, pile three. What's this person finding attractive about you? Page of Cups, all right. The Ten of Cups. Mm, the Knight of Cups, goodness. Okay, I'm going to say, Pile 3, we've gotten some some very uh, horny people here for, for Pile 1, 2, and now yours. Okay, so this person does a lot of fantasizing about you, clearly. I mean, you're, you're Knight of Cups. This person's like goo goo ga, ga over here. The Page of Cups, you make them feel like a little schoolboy or girl in love. Okay, this is like... They're all up in their head fixated on everything with you here. Okay, let's see that Knight of Cups. The wheel. Mm. I don't know if this person's made a move on you yet here. They may be waiting for the right time, but I'll tell you here, Pile 1. They're attracted to you uh, for the fact that you you make them feel this way. Okay, you've, you've started taking over this person's thoughts, so it's like daydreams, uh, you know, all that stuff here. Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. 
Mm. They're attracted to the fact that they feel like you are a solid, like they would be lucky to have you as like in goal here. Okay, you would be this victory for them after a long battle. It is, wow, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, behind that. So they feel like, look, you're, you're like hubby or wifey material here and this person finds that extra attractive as well as like you're probably smoking hot as well. I mean, I'm just saying, pile three, it's like all that. Start with the Ten of Cups. Eight of Swords. They're wondering if you're too good to be true. You probably have a lot of people interested. And I think if you are interested in this person, um, they're way more interested in you here. Okay. And they, they get in their head because they're like, well, what would pile three want with me? Like they're just, you know, uh, you, you make this person nervous. Again, I'm getting similar energy to pile one. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with the page of cups? Okay, we got the Ace of Cups, I think, and uh, it, was, it was Pile 2. And actually, it was Pile 1 as well. Okay, well, I think we've got the Ace of Cups in all three. So I'm just going to say, there's feelings here. They are attracted to the fact that you guys have an amazing heart. You're also very hot. You're just like all this. This person's like, again, like this little schoolboy girl in love here with you. You make them feel things that they probably haven't felt in quite a bit here. And uh, just very attractive. I mean... A lot of emotions here already with the cups. Okay, so you uh, you get this person from an emotional level here. You've made them feel things like I said. I just, I don't know. All right, page cups. The two of cups, pile three. This person, whoever this is, is in their feels about you. They are, they're just, they're infatuated here. They feel like you guys, like you're like this, angel here the soulmate that just came into their life and now they're just like gone with the wind with you jeez ten of cups god don't be another cup <laughs> it's just the tower what you like, look pile three i can say i thought pile two was good i just see you this you've like shook this person you've shook of them here okay this is something that they, I mean, a lot of them weren't expecting to meet you. They weren't expecting to fall for you, and they did. And now they're like, yeah, they're all about you here, Pile 3. I, whoever this is. I mean, we're going to clarify some of these here, but, I mean, it's like you rock this person's world. They're highly attracted to literally everything about you, but I'm getting the... Um, the emotions here behind this. There's like a deeper attraction here, um, a more spiritual attraction is what is what is kind of coming through. Knight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. This person wants to make sure that they do it right here with you. It is something that they, this person, very attracted to you. They caught feelings very early on. They're trying to slow themselves down here, this Knight of Pentacles, but eh, I don't know about that. Knight of Pentacles. The King of Swords. You make this person want to take action. That's what I'm saying. They're trying to slow themselves down down you make them they're attracted to the fact that i think a lot of you have all your stuff together right so they know to approach you to be with you here they've got to kind of match you and i think this is kind of what this person's doing i mean we do see the eight of swords by the way eight of ace of cups at the bottom and the six of cups okay they feel they feel a soul pull here with you it's very attractive your energy is very alluring to them it's like if you see the knight of pentacles it's just like being drawn here now this person's like head over heels they're in love with you whatever it is that you make this person feel is probably the most attractive thing here about you pile two and or pile three and it's like they can't really put their finger on it feels like you make this person feel things that they're not used to feeling here for anybody else eight of swords why is it here justice they're trying to figure out how to balance this the right way. Like you are a very balanced individual for some of you could be Libras out there. Okay. And so again, they want to match you here. So if you're balanced, they want to be balanced, but I'm telling you here, they feel like this giddy little, you know, ball of nerves over here when they're around you. So it is kind of hard, uh, for them because just highly attracted to you. I, I mean, mm, okay. Ace of cups, queen of wands. Yeah. Look, there's like, <laughs> it's like love, passion, all the above. That you, you guys are hot. That's what I thought, pile three. I was getting that vibe. <laughs> uh, but it's more than that for this person. Okay, there's like a spiritual. They see you on a spiritual uh, level here. Which is why, I mean, sh you know, most of them just want to just swoop you off your feet here with this Knight of Cups. Uh, but they know, like, 
there, there's something more here. So they got to do it right. They, they want to approach you correctly here because I think you, uh, your energy calls for that, right? So, um, wow. Let's do that. Let's do that. Queen of Wands here. The Ten of Wands. <clears throat> Seven of Cups and Death. So there's something here. I don't know if this person's come forward, if you know how they feel. If not, this person's got some sexual frustration here, you know, and they may feel like you have options too. So there's a there's a thing here weighing on this person with you that, that they want to they want to move things forward. And I think if it was up to them, like if they were just listening to what their heart is saying, which clearly this person is like all feelings here, right? Um, then they would just rush towards you. But for some of them, they're taking their time here, trying to figure out the best approach, but they really want you, pile three. <laughs> so, you yeah. know, okay. Yeah, you make this person want to match you is what I'm getting. And that's like a super attractive quality for them. What's the tower? The wheel. The Nine of Wands. I don't think for a lot of them they saw you coming. <laughs> Again, it's like this person's just like gone with the wind here and uh, nothing really they can do about it. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. This person sees a future here with you and they feel like you are a solid bet. Okay? Very attracted to the fact that you guys are independent. Okay? And it makes this person just admire you even more here. Um. Mm. Ten of Cups. I want to do that Ten of Cups real quick. Let's see. All right, tell us about the Ten of Cups. The Tower. <laughs> okay. It's like you already know. It's the Ace of Cups, too, by the way, and the Six of Cups. There's nothing but love here and admiration and, of course, attracted. I mean, they're just attracted to you in all ways. I, I mean, I'll be honest. If you if you want to check out all the other two piles, kind of similar energy here, but this one is like a more sweeter energy you make this person just feel things like I said that I don't think a lot of people are capable of making this person feel okay so if you're dealing with somebody who is normally this go-getter this boss this confident alpha you put them you know you put them back in their fields with this page of cups okay it's something with this soul connection that you do is so attractive to them that uh, it just they don't even know they don't even know what to do with themselves here at this point pile three tell me about that two of cups that ten of wands in the reverse again it's like this person just they can't take it anymore so if you're not with this person already i mean they are like just being magnetically pulled to you so i think it's only a matter of time to be honest file three if you're resonating with this judgment the seven of wands mm. yeah this person they listen they gotta they gotta come out of that little page of cups here if they want to uh move this forward with you they gotta stop being so intimidated and make a judgment call to stand up here for this you know, if they're frustrated and they're they're tired of, you know, being attracted to you from afar, for some of you, then, you know, they kind of know it's on them here. Ace of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. This person, like, you make them want to work for this. They're willing to put in the work here for you, Pile 3, because you are so attractive. They're just pulled to you. It's the repeating message. The star, as I say that. Okay. Uh, for a lot of them, they may not know how you feel. Okay, they're highly attracted to you, so that's not even a question here. And there's also a ton of feelings. So, listen, if you know who this is. <laughs> um, okay, which one were we going to do? Eight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Two of Wands. This person watches and they wait and they admire you and they're they're becoming more attracted to you the whole time they do this. So it's like you got to come forward. I mean, say something here. Balance something out here, right? Like, it's just kind of that. Uh, this could be for some of you. If you're if you're wondering, if you're on the reading and you just, this is a new person. It could definitely be a new person too. But, um, you know, this person, whoever this is, they're already smitten here, pal. Three. All right, let's do that page of cups. Let's do this page of cups here. The three of wands. Oh, somebody's getting the courage up here, it feels like. And again, if you're already with this person, then this would be they're so attracted to you that they're going to move it to the next level. For others of you, this person's so attracted to you that they're about to make a move here with the three of wands. Will it probably be this page of cups? Yeah, you know, I mean, 
you intimidate this person. <laughs> they would love to be this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Pentacles, where they just come in very smooth, calm, and collected here with you. But the thing is with them is, is they get that giddy, that giddy feeling with you. So it may come off as the Page of Cups. This person has great intentions with you, though. I mean, yeah. King of Swords at the bottom and the Page of Wands. You could be dealing with the air sign here. Okay. Uh, this person's about, I feel like they're about to make some kind of bold move. You make them want to do something a little risky out of their comfort zone here at Pile 3. So whatever that means for you. The Chariot and the Hermit. Hmm. Yeah, you inspire them to do something again. Like step out of their comfort zone. To For a lot of you, this person may chase you here. I don't know. I mean, they could have already been chasing you is kind of what I'm getting with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles now that I'm looking at that. Um, all about you here, Pile 3. All about you. So, again, a pretty specific message for you guys. I'm going to leave it here today. Love to hear if this resonated with anybody out there. And uh, you, guys are, you guys are hot, Pile 3. Keep doing what you're doing here. This person's all about you. And if you haven't heard from them, I mean, we got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles at the <laughs> center of the read. So I'm just saying, if they're in their head here, smitten over you, uh, too scared to make a move. I think they're going to get up off that little, this little ledge over here. And it might be small, but I don't know. Just know this person's highly attracted to you and they're very emotional about you as well. So, okay, Bobby. All right. Love to hear from you guys below if this resonated. If you guys enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you, uh, if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, my loves. I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye guys.